Days after the face-off in the Jawaharlal Nehru University, Delhi Police has now filed a report in the case, details of which are accessed by Times Now. The report says 28 inflammatory slogans were made in the university. Bhavdosh Singh has more details on that. Yes, Bhavdosh. Well, in fact, the report has been submitted to the Commissioner of the Delhi Police. The report has been prepared by the investigating officers. So it gives a detailed account as to what really happened on 9th of February because that has been a very controversial issue as to whether uh, the police uh, went little overboard while charging these students. Now, in the report, the police have given a list of uh, uh, sequence of event as to exactly what had happened. Okay. Uh, they claim that the organizers of event, including Omar Khalid, took permission for the event by uh, giving a false information and at, never, at, at, at any point of time, Jaini authorities were not aware that such an event will take place. It further said that once the event took place, there was a confrontation between ABVP students and uh, the organizers of this event. Mm -hmm. The police again claimed that they never entered the campus without seeking permission. In fact, they have given details as to how they first contacted the chief security officer and then the JNU authorities, and they were the ones who in fact told police to enter inside. Okay. The police claimed that they have a documentary evidence to prove that 28 anti-India uh, uh, anti India slogans or inflammatory speeches or slogans were shouted. The list is attached in the report that has been given to the Commissioner of the Delhi Police. It further said that uh, that they have identified at least 15 students who were participating in the rally. So okay. it's likely that when the matter will come up for hearing, Kanhaiya's bail application will come up for hearing uh, uh, right. today, uh, the police will give their version of event as to what really happened in January 9th of February. Okay.